Welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill. Today we'll be talking about the Air Jordan 9 silhouette in the fire red colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. Today, we're going to be talking about the Fire Red Air Jordan 9s, and we'll go through the overview of these, talk about size and fit, followed by how I sell them, then conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So let's jump right into it. This is definitely going to be at the top of some of your number one items for Christmas, I'm sure. But uh, this is a just really clean, classic colorway. I've done many fire red colorways on the channel. So if you haven't seen any of those videos, be sure to go back and check those out. Uh, but they have gone with a nice, crisp, clean white leather base for the upper on the front. Then we've got this really just beautiful kind of cool gray tone for the patent leather on the front of that toe box region. As we work our way up on to the tongue of the sneaker itself, we've got white intermixed with some nice dark charcoal gray with Air Jordan in that nice pop of fire red. We've also got red on the eyelets here and some simplistic, just nice charcoal gray laces. Let's take a look at those details and then move along to the side paneling. So wrapping around to the side panels, we've got more of that gray uh, color scheme for the patent leather on the bottom of that midsole. Then above it, we've got the nice, clean, smooth leather and white. On the back of the heel of the sneaker, we've got 23 nicely embroidered there in that pop of red. Above it, we've got the Jumpman logo also in red to match that red pull tab. The interior is in gray as well as white and red. And as we wrap around to the lateral side of the sneaker, Again, hits of that white smooth leather and then underneath on the bottom of the midsole region, we've got that patent leather in the charcoal gray colorway. Working our way to the bottom of that midsole onto the outsole, we've got white and red for the Jumpman logo. All right, let's take a look at those last and final details.
far as size and fit goes, I would say stick true to size on this one. I'm typically a seven and a half in men's. I do have higher general feet. So do take that into consideration when you're deciding on which size range will work best for you. So if you do have flatter, wider feet, that could actually differentiate a size difference since we do have different types of feet. All right, so now let's talk about styling. This is just such a classic color combination. So definitely had to play off of the tones throughout. And for the first look, I decided to wear a puffer hooded jacket in a nice, just kind of light beige colorway. Underneath that, I wore a red sweater with some gray essential sweatpants, definitely grays, reds, and I feel like neutral tones will go great with this color combination. <laughs> So the second look, I decided to wear Essentials gray hoodie. I then layered that with a nice plaid kind of puffer button down jacket that had some multiple color options on both sides of it with red plaid on one side, some blue plaid on the other. And uh, I decided to wear some just wide legged denim pants and a light denim color. Then for the last and final look, switched up a little bit with the Letterman's jacket in red and white. And then underneath that was a plaid button down shirt in a nice just red and green colorway. And then for the bottoms, I wore some cargo pants that had a nice cinch at the bottom and a nice You let me know down below what was your favorite look of the three or how would you style these?
And now let's conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So these retailed at $200 and they are currently going between $215 to $260. So a little bit above that retail price point, not too crazy. So if you did skip out on these and you are hoping to kind of reach back for them, definitely snag a pair now. I do think that this is gonna be a great Christmas gift for those of you who are in love with the fire red classic colorway. Uh, but other than that, everybody, that is it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining us. If you joined us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below and hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name's Marissa. We'll catch you all next episode.